yo what is going on youtube listen in today's video for the all people that are out there that use a usb mic i'm gonna show y'all how to turn y'all usb mic into an interface similar to my scarlet i'm gonna throw a picture of it on the screen just the best way that i can so let's get into it i planned on using this mic right here uh it's just some you know boo boo dirty mic that i got from five below but uh, yeah, it doesn't even work. So now to do the basically turning your USB mic into having an interface in FL, we're going to be using the plugin Pretty Compressor. On my interface, I have a button for, for my gain. Um, I don't really have a button for my threshold because there's no threshold on here. But if anything, that could be a plus for you guys because you'll be able to control how much sound you want to come out. Because again, the threshold is basically, this is how much sound we will allow. And the gain is basically you getting to that point. All right, now, of course, if you go overboard with the gain, yes, it will be crazy, right? Like, I'm going to turn the threshold down to 60 over here. And then, uh, of course, you can go too crazy with it, right? So don't go too crazy with it. I'm going I'm to say we're going to put the threshold like right here, right? And then I'm going to use my gain to get up to here. Now, let me turn the compressor off right quick. The reason why I made this video is because a lot of people sometimes when I mix their songs, which if you want a custom preset, if you want your songs mixed, all you have to do is DM me on Instagram. Um, it's very affordable. All you do is DM me. I'll shoot, shoot me a DM and I'll respond to you, right? These people that use usb mic sometimes their gain and vocals are so loud that it's like yo these vocals are low-key un unusable you feel me like it's just too crazy so to counteract that what we do is putting your threshold at like i don't know maybe like 28 30 and then bringing it back something like this bringing it back something like this because again if anything you would rather have quieter vocals than loud vocals they're just way easier to work with so let's turn it up down boom so those are basically the only two buttons you're going to want to use because of course i recommend if you're going to use a usb mic as well to put this in your interface i mean put this in your rec like make this your rec preset put your auto tune in here your limiter and your compressor so you can use that as your interface to tweak the volume of the vocals with this trick is just to you literally control the volume of it just to get some sort of control on it okay just so they're not too loud and peaking and then of course you just chain it like this into whatever preset you have like uh i don't know let's just put some random preset that i got uh yeah yeah something like this yeah. something like this and then we just do it like this oh my vocals is too loud uh oh let me just turn it down okay then i'll pull it up Okay, baby, I pulled her. You wanna hate on me, so what? I got money in the fucking cut. She wanna hate, big butt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So look, that's gonna be all for this video. If you found this video useful, do me a favor and drop a like on it. You feel me? Comment down below. I don't know uh, what your favorite flavor pancake is. It don't really matter. Help me out in that algorithm, man. Let me know if this helped you for all my USB mic users. Of course, I do still think that an XLR mic is way better. But, of course, you know, some people can't afford that. And I understand, man. But, yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I got more presets, tutorials, all that on the way, man. We on the road to 3K subs, man. Again, if you want that custom preset, you want your song mixed, DM me on Instagram. And follow me while you there, man. With that being said, I'm going to see y'all in the next video, man. Peace. Desire. Go!